Now you can see the stick spider has all come to a standstill for now. Everybody is just resting. Even our Birmingham boy has decided to lie up as well and curl into a ball and start to sleep. So it seems that everyone's getting a little bit warm and has decided this is where they're going to stay for the day, which is a good thing because hopefully that will mean Tumble will have time to move and get out of this area and get himself out of the way. Now, I believe some of you are asking whether or not the Sticks Pride would eat Tumba. Most certainly if they killed him, they would eat some of him. They wouldn't leave too much, although there is prides that sometimes kill him or kill leopards and don't eat them but I would imagine that they would I ha have seen it before where lions have eaten some of the carcass they don't eat all of it but they do eat some of it so it would not surprise me if they did but generally you'll find it's more just they kill it and it's not really for food it's more just to assert themselves as the apex predator and then move on so hopefully for little Tumba like I say he decides to get out of here and is aware of his environment he as we've seen over the past few days, is always looking, always checking around, always listening. So hopefully. ML, you're wondering if they could smell Tumba from where they are now. Well, no, it will be the other way around because the wind is blowing from the lions towards where Tumba is, not from Tumba to the lions. But they might have picked up his scent from the fact that he's moved around a little bit here and has walked on some of the roads that they've covered today. But I don't think so. I think it's more likely the other way around where Tumba will pick their scent up and hopefully that means that he gets out of here. At the end of the day it's not it won't be the first time that he's seen a lion and certainly won't be the last time that he sees a lion and he's going to have to learn how to deal with them and to be able to get himself safe as if he's going to be an individual that survives so he's unfortunately just got to learn and there's no better no easier way to learn than to watch and to see and unfortunately that's that's it he's got to try and survive so I'm pretty sure though that he'll pick it up and with the wind that's swirling and, and blowing that he'll smell them and that'll allow him to slink off. I can hear the Franklin's going crazy not far from us so I think he is moving around down below us at the moment. Tony, you're wondering how strong a lion's scent is. Well, it's not nearly as strong in terms of us as humans to be able to smell it. It's not nearly as strong as what the popcorn smell of a leopard is. You find the lion scent is just like cat urine, so it is quite pungent. Um, if you've ever had cats, you might know it is quite pungent, but it's not nearly as strong when you, as a human, to pick up the scent as you would with a leopard. For me, a leopard it just smells that much more. Maybe it's because a leopard scent has that popcorny smell and it's just so foreign out here that you pick it up that quickly. But lions, really, their urine doesn't smell that much when you see them or when they're around. You don't actually pick up their scent when they urinate like you would a leopard. Now, are you going to approach Dad? No, you've thought better of it. Or maybe not. Let's go see. I wonder how this is going to end up. Maybe Nsuku's going to be nice with the little cub. This could be a really cool moment. Hello, Dad. I'm going to lie with you. I don't want to lie with anyone else. And it looks like a little male that's just flopped down next to Insuku. So he's learning from his dad at this stage. Well, we don't know if it's exactly his dad, but we perceive to be that one of them is his dad. And Insuku sem seems to spend a lot of time with the Sticks Pride. I mean, the last, probably the last week he's been seen with them. So I wonder if he's just got that maternal instinct and not maternal, paternal instinct, should I say. And that's why he's been around and this little cub is now kind of latched on to its dad and, and is now trying to be a part of that and to lie with the boys rather than lie with mom. You know when you get into your teenage years you start to want to kind of go away from mom more and more. Stephen, you want to know how many prides the Birmingham boys are in control of or in terms of or mating with? So at the moment they dominate the Inkahuma Pride, the Styx Pride, the Torchwood Pride and now recently they've started to mate with a pride called the Kambula Pride which is a breakaway Mangans, so the cubs from the Mangan Pride. So that's really the, the situation at the moment and then so four prides in total which is quite a number and they span a really large distance so that's why it means the Birmingham boys are all over the place and why they never sit together. You never see the four of them walking around together. Now I'm not sure if anyone's had any updates on Mfumo in some time because I haven't seen him. He's the only Birmingham boy we haven't seen over the past few weeks. We've been seeing a lot of Tinio and a lot of Nena and Nsuku but very little of the Birmingham of Mfumo so I don't know where he is or what he's up to maybe he's the one that's down with that pride on Mala Mala which is the Kumbula pride 
maybe that's where he is at the moment. So I think the third female is just lying under a tree further down, but certainly there's no sign, at least like I say, of Tumba and they don't look as though they're too intrigued by anything, which is great news. So it looks as though this is where they're going to settle for the day. I highly doubt we're going to see too much movement. They might move around a little bit for shade, but I don't think we're going to see too much more other than that. Which is good news. It's fantastic news. Now hopefully Tumba will be clever and not move in this direction. I'm sure he won't. His general direction has been in the Malawati and then down towards Twin Dams. So that's perfect. Hello everybody, yes it is me Scott back again at the River Cams. I've changed